So, so far, I finished this part. So remember that all other things are the same. But C3V, you don't have to write down C3MM. The last M is basically the same as the previous defined M axis. So C3V international symbol wise, this is 3M. OK, so I finished up until now, up to this part. Now let's go to a little bit complicated one, D and H and cubic. D and H and cubic is uh, n-fold dihedral group, and I have to put horizontal mirror plane. Okay, all right, so figures of D and H and cubic. First simple one, D2H. When you read D2H, this one is basically 2, 2, 2, principal axis is 2, and I put horizontal mirror plane. Okay, so 2, 2, 2, multi-rotation axis is defined like this. You follow me? Now, Shamfly says, just put horizontal mirror plane to the principal axis of twofold. So, Shamfly says, just put the mirror plane in here, perpendicular to the G axis. All right, that's what he said. Now, let's look at this. This one is twofold in Y axis. So when you have twofold, you have to rotate 90 degree, and that should be the mirror plane developed. There is a lattice point in here. There is a G axis, twofold. This X axis says twofold. This Y axis says twofold. And I put the mirror plane in here. So there is a mirror plane. And there is twofold in here, which has 180 degree rotation operation. So you have to develop 90 degrees extra mirror plane by this twofold. Twofold is 180. Okay? So this twofold generates mirror plane in here, perpendicular. That has 90 degree angle rotation. So when you have twofold, you have mirror plane. Then 90 degree rotation makes this one as a mirror plane. And this y axis has mirror plane. Again, 180, uh, 90 degree rotation has a mirror plane, which it shows like this. So this one is twofold. And you, Shamply says, just to put horizontal mirror plane in here, but extra mirror plane is developed like this. Follow me? OK. Symmetry wise, twofold. Now this twofold makes down pole, down pole. So two, two, two is drawn, but there is a mirror plane. So upper pole makes down pole, down pole makes upper pole, upper pole makes down pole, down pole makes upper pole. Depending on how this extra pole is generated, it's generated by the mirror plane. So in the case, right hand should be left hand. I don't write it right left in here, but you have to remember that. So these are the general poles of D2H. Symmetry-wise, how I can write it, you know that D2 is basically 2, 2, 2. This one is a G axis. This one is one X axis. This is one set of Y axis. Now we know that this G axis has both twofold and perpendicular mirror plane, this mirror plane. So this one has 2 over M. And x-axis has twofold. x-axis has mirror plane in here. So x-axis has also two over m. And y-axis, y-axis in here has twofold, and it has mirror plane in here. So y-axis also has two over m. So this is the international symbol. And because there is a mirror plane and there is a perpendicular twofold 180 degree rotation operation, it naturally has inversion centers in there. That's D2H, that's 
Tobaim, Tobaim, Tobaim. Okay, now let's look at D3H. This one is always complicated. 3H, I draw 3-fold. This one starting from 3 to 2 and put horizontal mirror plane. That's Schoenflein notation. So that's 3 to 2. One axis is here. Another two-fold is defined here. So you don't have to write down 3 to 2. You can write it as 2, 3, 2. But in this case, there is mirror plane, horizontal mirror plane. Again, the two-fold which is in the plane, it passing through this mirror plane, so you have to rotate 90 degree and generate extra mirror plane. So all these lines is now become the mirror planes. Follow me? Okay, general pole, threefold, generates threefold here, and threefold here, and twofold generates downfold, downfold, downfold. But you have now horizontal mirror plane, so upper pole can, is down pole, down pole, down pole, upper pole, by the mirror, horizontal mirror, down pole. So the multiplication factor is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 12 is the multiplication factors. All right, now, this is the important part. How we write down by the international symbol? Okay, international symbol 322 is one set of x-axis, one set of y-axis. And in the case of threefold, this one is the same, so we don't have to write down this third axis. So again, this, let's say this is x-axis, x-axis. Now this one is y-axis in the symmetry wise. So in here, x, y is basically the same thing, so you don't have to write it. But when you draw this, and now when I write down the symmetry elements by the following the international symbol, I'm confused because I, I want to say it's a 3 over by m, principal axis as both threefold and horizontal mirror plane. That's simple. Now, I have to define this two-fold, and this mirror plane. But when you define the mirror plane, you have to define the lines which is perpendicular to that. Perpendicular to that. This one is something that you have to define, and this one is something that you have to define, this one is something you have to define, and this is something you have to define, this is something that you have to define. Because this circled axis has mirror plane, perpendicular mirror plane. This x-axis, it does not have a mirror plane. It has two-fold, but mirror plane is not perpendicular to them. So I'm confused how I write it. If I write down 3 over m, then two-fold, it doesn't have a mirror plane. Huh. Now, there are six axes, uh, 3x, 3y-axis, that has two-fold, but I have to define another six axis that has a mirror plane. And that cannot be defined by this 3 to 2. But if you think about 6 to 2, that is how we define it. So this 2, 1 axis, 1, 6 axis has two-fold, and 1, 6 axis has mirror plane. So I'm tempted to write it as 3 over m, uh, but I cannot define the axis. It should be defined by 3, but it does not have 6-fold. So 3 over m is basically the same as 6 bar. Then now I can write down 2 over m, or 6 bar m2. That's the same thing, depending on how you define your axis. Okay, do you follow me? Even though I start from D3, 3 to 2, I put a horizontal mirror plane, then extra mirror plane is defined. But in order to define this mirror plane, you have to define another set of six axes, and that only can be defined by the 6 to 2. Then one set of six ax symmetry axes has twofold, 
one set of six symmetry axes as mirror plane. But this six fold, it does not have a six fold. And that's the same as three over m is basically the same as six bar. So people write it as six bar two m. Complicate. This is something that you have to, you have to digest. Okay, now D4H, I might have a few more slides. All right, D4H is four, starting from 4 to 2 and horizontal mirror plane. So I have to draw four fold, two fold, two fold, two fold, two fold, and four to two, and another set of two folds in here. Two folds, two folds, two folds, two folds. This is four to two. Now, uh, now I put the horizontal mirror plane. Then by the same token, any two fold rotation axis generates mirror plane. Generates mirror plane, generates mirror plane. Okay, so general pole wise, four fold generates here generates here, generates here, two-fold, down-fold, 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 but it has horizontal mirror plane, so upper pole has down-fold, down-fold has upper pole, something like this, something like this, okay, something like this. So this is 4 to 2 and horizontal mirror plane. All these vertical lines has mirror plane. Symmetry element wise. So how I write it down to international symbol? Okay, four to two, I see the jet axis as both four fold and mirror plane, horizontal mirror plane. So this is four by m. Now second set, x set, x, 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 symmetry wise is the same symmetry axis as both two fold and mirror plane. So this is two by m. And set of y axis, y, 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 y. Again, this one has two folds and perpendicular mirror plane, so two over m. So this is international symbol showing D4H. And T, then D6H is basically the same. If you're doing it, six over m, two over m, two over m, that's something you can derive. Let me see whether I have one. Okay, I have one more slice. Now, let's go to TH. Tetrahedral system. This is 2, 3. Although 1, 0, 0 axis has 2 fold, and 1, 1, 1 axis has 3 fold. And Shenfly says that in this pure multi rotation axis, you put horizontal mirror plane. Okay, this one. Again, belongs to the cubic crystal system. So this one is threefold. Or the one zero zero type of axis has twofold. Okay, and Shenfly says that, all right, put the mirror plane, horizontal mirror plane. So I have mirror in here. Again, by the same token, x axis has two fold, so you have mirror plane perpendicular. So you generate mirror in here. So this one is mirror generated, and this one generates mirror in here. Okay, uh, I think I don't have to show all the general poles. Okay, basically you know how to draw two, three, and you know how to generate general poles. Now you have horizontal mirror plane, so upper pole, down pole, down pole, upper pole, then that's something that you can draw it. Now, international symbol wise, I know that all the uh, 100 type of axis now has both 
two-fold and middle plane. Right? Z-axis has two-fold and middle plane. X-axis has two-fold and middle plane. And Y-axis has two-fold and middle plane. Two and two by M is just right definition. Now, in the case of three-fold, nothing there. So I attempted to write down three-fold. So that shows that all the one, one, one axis has three-fold. But if you write it like this, then you are wrong. Why? Huh. Think about this. There's two-fold, and there is a middle plane. So middle plane, two-fold, has 180-degree components. So principal theorem says that there should be inversion center in here. So in the stereogram wise, now let's say there is a threefold in here, and in the lattice point, there is an inversion center. So this one, threefold, has inversion center in there. So what is threefold and inversion center? That's a three bar. Okay. Let's see, threefold, threefold, one, one, one. Now three bar is the same as upper pole, 180 degree inversion, 100 degree inversion, 100 degree inversion, 120 degree inversion. 120 degree inversion. And this is threefold with the inversion center in there. So three bar is threefold and inversion. And now this lattice point has inversion center. This axis has threefold and inversion center in there. So it should be written as three bar instead of threefold. So this one is 2 over m, three bar. OK. Let me see whether I have one more slide. OK. Now, let me draw OH. Quite complicated, maybe mostly most complicated. It's starting from 4, 3, 2. Although 100 zero, zero type of axis has 4-fold, 1, 1, 1 axis has 3-fold, and 1, 1, 0 axis has 2-fold. So, International symbol, uh, stereo projection wise, this is four fold, four fold, four fold, four fold, four fold. All the one 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 type of axis has three fold. Now all the one one zero type of axis has two fold. All right, this is OH. Now Shemply says put the horizontal middle plane. So now this one is middle plane. Just one meter in there. Now, because there is a four-fold axis in here, for instance, x-axis is four-fold. Now, there is a middle plane. X-axis locates in the middle plane. And this one has 90-angle rotation operation, four-fold, right? So when there is a middle plane and there is 90-angle rotation operation, at each 45-degree rotation, there should be middle plane developed. That's the principal theorem. So when you have middle plane perpendicular to this z-axis, then this x-axis says that, hmm, OK, at each 45-degree rotation, you have middle plane. So what is the 45-angle rotation of this middle plane? This one. This one is 90 degree. This one is uh, 270 degree. This one is. 360 degree. So all this one is now become middle plane. Y axis by the same token. All this one has middle plane. This one is middle plane. This one is middle plane. 
Not even that, that. Now this 110 type of axis has two fold, so it makes middle plane. It makes middle plane. So all this one has the middle plane components in there. Okay, multiplication wise, it generates 48 general poles, I think. Uh, when you do 432, that's 24. Then you have a horizontal middle plane. So you just do middle plane operation, upper pole, down pole, down pole, upper pole. Then it generates the twice of the 24, so it generates 48. I don't want to draw all the poles in here. I'm sure you can do it. Now, think about how we can define by the uh, this symmetry uh, by the international symbols. International symbol, all the, as you see, all the uh, 11100 type of axis has both fourfold and perpendicular middle plane. Perpendicular middle plane, perpendicular middle plane. So four by M. All the threefold, it just has threefold. Now all the two folds, all the two folds has perpendicular middle plane. One one zero axis has both two fold and perpendicular middle plane. So I attempt to write down two over by M. All the one zero zero type of axis has four fold and middle plane. 111 axis looks like it's the same, and all the 110 axis has two fold and perpendicular middle plane. But if you do it, again, you are wrong. Because when there is four fold and there is perpendicular middle plane, what is in there? Inversion center is developed here. So all these three fold axis, 111 axis, penetrate the lattice points in the center of the sphere. In the center of the sphere, it has inversion center and threefold. So this one is, again, it's not threefold. It should be written as three bar. Uh, 